So yesterday, Peter Ducey, who's the only real correspondent in the room at the White House now, the Fox guy, he said, look, very simple to Ms. Jean-Pierre. Is there any restriction on abortion that the president would support? Anything. Jean-Pierre wouldn't answer. We ran it on the No Spin News. Yesterday, another very, very simple question. Go. Does President Biden think America's big cities are safe? It, it, is, not, it, is, not a, um, it is not a yes or no question. It is very much a question of what has he done? That's how we see the question, is what has he done to make sure that cities, and it doesn't matter if it's a big city or a small city, it doesn't matter if it's in a red state or a blue state, what matters is that we have the funding and we have done the work, put the policy forward uh, to make sure that these cities, whether it's big or small, have what they need to protect their community. And that's what this president has done, again, without the help of Republicans. It's, it's ridiculous. Funding. Yeah, funding. That's it. Has Biden condemned the progressive district attorneys? No. Condemned no bail laws? No. Okay? No. Nothing like that. Has he mentioned the thousands of African Americans being murdered in the country? No. Okay? Mm -mm. It's all gun control. So Biden has done nothing. And the question was simple. Are big cities safe? No, they're not. But this is what Jean-Pierre, she's never going to answer a question. So there's two vivid examples in a row. So the Atlanta Braves went to the White House yesterday to get acknowledged for winning the World Series last year. Um, another Ridiculous dog and pony show. I, I don't resent the Braves being there and taking up Biden's time because Biden would be taking a nap. I guess it's better he just gets out and just gives the Braves some compliments. But within the body of this exposition comes this question. Go. Um, the president hosting the Atlanta Braves today. Wondering if you or the president has any thoughts about some of the controversial mm -hmm. about the team name, the Braves name, the so-called tomahawk shop. Any thoughts on, on that? So, look, we, we believe that it's important um, to have this conversation. Uh, you know, and, uh, and Native American and indigenous voices, uh, they should be at the center of this conversation. Uh, that is something that the president believes, that's something that this administration believes, and he has consistently emphasized that all people deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. You hear that often uh, from this president. So they want to knock out Braves. Can't be Braves anymore. Can't be brave. The conversation, indigenous voices, I think if I had to spend a half an hour in the presence of that woman, I have never taken a narcotic in my life, I would take drugs. <laughs> I don't think I could get through it. So here's what I want to know. What is offensive about the word braves? What? A brave person is a good person. I write in Killing Crazy Horse about unbelievable valentry on the part of Native Americans. The, Brave. Braves defended their tribes. Why is that word offensive? Why? It's not. This is moronic. This is the insane wokeism. It's not offensive to any rational person. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing. We all know that. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, not only predict a recession, but are using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. So you need to call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Please call them today and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers of the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201. 
866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video, and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below, and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.